Hi guys, so today is a very, very good day for me because this turned up, which is the second generation of the uh, Atmos FX. I got the first one. You will see a video on my channel for the first one. I bought this from Atmos FX online and I'm in the UK. So a couple of things to make you aware of. Firstly, this is not going to be a biased review. It's not a paid product, so I'm not being paid to give a... A false review it's my own cash believe me when I say this it costs me more in shipping and customs and admin charges to get it over here and I won't be doing that again if you're in the US it's about I think it's about $189 which is like a kit that gives you everything you need to get up and running in no time at all as I mentioned I've done the first one and that's okay and I use that in my video so if you look at my videos you will see it's in in effect you would also see my original review of this as well but I won't be doing it again I don't think I can justify the cost of buying this again because the shipping the customs doesn't work for me guys so I and I can't afford to do that so this will be um, a straightforward, honest review. I'll also do a demonstration where we get it test up at night. For now, let's look inside the box, have a look around the projector, see what it's like. Let's get stuck in. And here we are. So just take a quick look around the box first. Uh, very little apart from everything you need to create that holiday scary or seasonal experience uh, you can go on the Atmos FX site to get downloads which you can either download yourself put on an SD card or get them online uh, personal choice all I'm gonna do is because my Halloween is quite extensive I'm just simply going to stick with what's in the box stick the box there um, stick with what's in the box and we'll have an idea of whether what you get is good value for money whether you should download additional items or whether you're satisfied with what's included last time the uh, last generations one I was happy with what was included because I was just after the go so that was okay there you go almost uh, a nice little screen which uh, that must provide with you as well I don't know about the quality on this I used a shower curtain last time that worked for me uh, the information guide let's get it over there information guide which we'll look at later your power lead now obviously I'm in the UK which means I need a step down transformer as luck has it I do have one of them as well you get a tripod stand last year I did not use this because I found it to be too flimsy so depending on your setup you may or may not want to use that uh, it's just a universal there you go hope you can see that but it's just a screw thread so that's not much of an issue some stickers the SD card as well which you get so that's quite nice that's obviously for your screen the stickers your remote control the power supply and again because I'm in the UK I need a step down transformer which isn't your problem but obviously if you're in America it's absolutely fine and then the projector so let's get rid of this Now, definitely very different to the first generation. I don't know if it's going to be any quieter. Uh, my previous video, people were commenting about the fan. I thought it was okay myself, so I wasn't overly worried myself on that. The projector, they say it's brighter than the first generation. Again, I will check that all out for you as well. Your tripod stand at the bottom. Obviously, USB pots, uh, slots, your HDMI and the USD card. And obviously for your infrared and your power as well and also another get in focus you also got another thread as well so you can obviously do this horizontal or vertical so to give you an idea as well I did mention that I wasn't going to use this tripod stand but this is what it's like see it's you've really got to adjust it to get it dead straight and what I'm worried about, certainly in my situation, is that it's going to go on the ground, but I don't think it's going to be robust enough 
that's the only concern I have. So I have a very, very rigid tripod stand, but I guess if you don't have one and you can position it and you're happy with it, then maybe this will do the job. But simply put, remember, this is like an all-in-one kit. Let's just put it there as well. It's an all-in-one kit, so it may suit your needs and it obviously suits your budget as well. Let's just try that for you. So try and position the legs. So yeah, there you go. So it works. I'm, I can't say I'm overly happy about it myself, but it does do the job. So there you go. Um, one thing I did forget to mention as well, you've actually got here your speaker output, as well as obviously your infrared and your power. So you can obviously uh, attach speakers and get some awesome sound out of it. But let's get on with the testing. Two hours later. Okay, so I was getting prepared to do a live demonstration in the dark when I suddenly realized that the projector, despite the fact of having power, uh, there's no bulb. There's nothing here at all. I've gone through all the instructions, which were useless, and despite the fact that it's fully plugged in, operational, you can hear the noise. So I'll just bring that up to you. You can hear the noise. It's not playing ball at all. I've sent a ticket off to Atmos, uh, and I've also put a uh, message on their Twitter account, and I've received a response back to say that I am in a queue. So my biggest concern now is I have a projector that I cannot use and may not be able to use for Halloween. I'm going to do a little bit more research and probably come back in the next couple of hours to see if I can try and escalate it. And if not, we'll have to complete the video as, uh, as a defective product, which I'm a bit gutted about. But nevertheless, I will persevere with it. It does come with a remote control as well, which works absolutely fine. Now, your infrared's on the back here, so you could just turn it off. You also got a menu driven system. It's like the old projector. This is like generation two, um, but without the projector light, I've got no way of looking at the menu or even operating it. So I can't even show you that at the moment. So uh, let's see if I get any more feedback and we can then conclude this video. Two hours later. Right, so bad news, I've been researching this now for quite some time, I've had no joy, I've had no joy from their support, so at the moment this is just doing nothing at all. I've tried everything I physically can and there's nothing more I can do. Uh, it's the bulb that, to me the bulb's gone and until I get some sort of support from Atmos, I am unable to demonstrate this. So. Uh, very disappointed because it's come from the US, I'm in the UK, I don't think this is going to work out or get resolved before Halloween, so very, very, very disappointed. Uh, customer service of Atmos leaves a lot to be desired, to be told I'm in a queue and it could take up to five days, uh, doesn't really put much faith in me to buy more products from them again and I'm going to upload this video as well because I I do feel a little bit disgruntled about it. Their forums are not much cop, if I'm truthful. So uh, Twitter, I've just pestered them with, and as I said, I have got a ticket, but I've got a long wait. So would I recommend it? Well, probably not at the moment, no. The first one I did recommend. I was looking forward to this one, and I can honestly say that I'm not. I'm not looking forward. In fact, I may just as well get a refund if I can get that sorted out. What's your thoughts? Did you buy it? Did you have any problems like I've done? Uh, do you like it? If you do, give me a comment. I'd like to see it below as well. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video as well. As I said, I'm sorry, the products let me down and I've tried everything. I cannot think of anything else to do other than take it apart and replace a bulb which I'm not prepared to do. I want to see if there's feedback from their support on this first. So there you go, the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Ooh,